In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to create an impressive loading animation using the new Figma to Lottie Expo feature in the Figma Lottie plugin. Lottie is a powerful animation library that allows you to add high quality lightweight animations to your app and website using JSON format. These animations are created using Adobe After Effects and now can be created in Figma with the help of the new Figma plugin. You can also incorporate existing Lottie files directly into your Figma project using the plugin. My name is Jacqueline and this is Ikea Designs. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Now, let's get started. Press F and create your frame. Press O and create a circle. Duplicate the circle two times and make sure they are evenly spaced. Change the fill color. Select the first circle, duplicate it, bring it downwards and reduce its height. Then change its color to a darker color and reduce its opacity. Now, reduce its width as well. Duplicate it and make sure it's well aligned with the second circle. Then duplicate it once again and make sure it's well aligned with the third circle. To make sure we can easily work with our layers, we are going to organize them and rename them. Arrange the layers in the layers panel as you see on the screen. Then select all the smaller ellipses and press Command R to rename them in a numerical ascending format. Select the big circles, press Command or Ctrl R and rename them as well. Now, set the opacity of all the smaller ellipses to zero. Duplicate the frame. Select the first ellipse and turn its opacity to 100. Select the first green circle and drag it down. Select the shadow ellipse and increase its width. Select the second shadow ellipse and set its opacity to 100. Then select the second green ball and move it down by 10 pixels. Slightly increase the width of the second shadow. Then select the first green circle and reduce its height. Select the second green circle and slightly reduce its height. Duplicate the second frame. Increase the width of the second shadow, then move the second ball downwards, then reduce its height. Select the first circle, move it back to its original position and increase its height, then reduce its shadow. Slightly increase the length of the third shadow, then set the opacity of the first shadow to zero. Duplicate the frame once again. Select the second circle, increase its height and move it back to its original position. Then reduce the width of its shadow and turn off its opacity. Select the shadow of the first circle and increase its opacity. Select the first circle and reduce its height. Select the last circle, reduce its height and move it downwards. Now, load the Lottie file plugin. Once the plugin is loaded, tap on export to Lottie, select all the frames and click on export to Lottie. Then now you see your animation. To create a custom animation timing, we are going to use Smart Animate to do our prototype connections. So connect it using the settings on the screen. Once you're done with the connections, load your Lottie file plugin once again and then just select the flow and there you have it, your animation. This is how the animation looks in Figma without the plugin. Unfortunately, Lottie doesn't seem to display the shadows. If you found this tutorial helpful, like and subscribe for more design tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.